with you guys today we're taking a look at this one thing that can save your pc now a lot of people out there who like to tweak their operating system to either get more performance out of it or to block telemetry and change a lot of policies or maybe it's a case where you want to get more fps or it stop input lag and all these other things that people uh, believe can happen by tweaking the registry the problem with tweaking the registry is a lot of people seem to forget this one thing, which is basically backing up what you're actually doing. So you can always revert back. They make loads and loads of changes and then they get locked out of certain things and other things don't work. So let's take a look at what you can do here. So first off, what you're gonna do is go to your C root directory and create a folder and call this say registry backup. Now this is so simple, but yet people still forget to actually do it and it can save you a lot of headache. Now you can either back up the whole registry or just back up singular parts of the registry which you've been tweaking on. So let's take a look at how we can go about doing this. So first type reg edit in the search box, open up the registry editor. Inside here, uh, you can go up to the top here. You'll see your registry uh, hives here. We can click on the computer area and go up to file and we can now export. So click export. Once you click export, down the bottom here, we can give it a file name. Make sure it says export range all, and then we can go ahead and save this into a location of our choice. Now we've already created a folder in the C root directory, so that's where we're gonna be saving our registry backup. So let's go ahead and go down to registry backup, go inside here, and you can now give it a name. You can call it whatever you like, registry backup. I would advise you to call it reg backup with a date so you know when you made a registry backup. Obviously this is gonna make changes to your computer. So as long as you've got a date and you keep regular backups, you should be okay. You can delete some of the older ones as you start to uh, you know, go forward in time, maybe uh, months later, you can always uh, delete some of the older ones to clear up some space. We now have a full backup of our registry. So let's take a look at our registry backup we've got here. So we're gonna go back to our C root directory. And inside here, you should see in our reg back folder, we have got our registry backup, the full system computer registry backup. So this is a whole uh, registry backup we've done here. And you can use this with uh, some other methods like registry backup, uh, system restore, and you can also do a system backup as well so you've got plenty of safety nets there to recover your system if uh, you make a mistake now to restore it you just go up to file import and choose the file that you backed up from so click open and this will then start to import the registry uh, back in and this will make the changes back to when you made that backup but just remember if it's been a long period of time it might not be quite the same as what it was when you've made the backup. So if you've left this for like two years and you're now restoring it, it's not gonna be that useful to you. But try to keep them updated and uh, re and delete some of the older ones that you don't need anymore. So now we've got a, a backup done and we've now also restored our registry. So if you've been tweaking inside the registry and you've made a load of policy changes and you can't remember which ones they were, which is what normally happens, you can use this method to actually restore your PC back. Now that's the actual registry backup out the way. Let's take a look at a piece of software you can use if you want to use some software to make registry backups. So you can head over to tweaking.com and basically on here, they have some programs you can use. One of them is a registry backup program. Now you don't need to use this registry backup program. I just wanted to show you there is options out there. So download this software and basically you can either download the portable version or the installation version. This is the portable version here. I'll quickly open it. And as you can see, it gives you a backup registry and restore registry right from here. So you can, choose which you want to back up you can do a manual backup here and basically once you hit the backup now it's going to make a backup of your uh, registry just like so does it all for you and uh, if you want to restore you can then go up to the restore tab and you can choose which one you want to restore so let's go up to the section two here there's a little drop down here 
and you can see there is a backup already done here so you can choose one of these and then let me just choose one of these so you can see I'm not going to restore it and you've got all the check marks into what we want to restore and then you would just say restore now and this will restore all of those uh, registry for us so that's simple and you can always restart and shut down the system once you're finished if you want to you can up, open up in the current location where the files are located now if you want to back up a single registry file like say windows defender here then highlight it click file and click export this is not going to back up the whole of the registry just that one file which is windows defender so i'm going to go in here and this is a policy inside here that we're going to back up especially if you've been tampering with the policies and other things like that we can call this windows dash defender dash default or original or whatever it is you want to call it and we're going to be the selected branch of windows defender this will now back up windows defender the selected branch of it and if we wanted to restore that separate part once we've tampered with it we can do so let's go into our registry backup folder here and i've created another folder inside here and I've just called this before tweaks. So you can tweak your system, but you keep all your registry backups here so you can always restore them if you don't want them anymore. And if you edit them here, you can see this is what is basically backed up and it will restore this back to default settings. So that's basically it. That is the registry backup. Now, of course, we also have, which is another thing that is disabled by default, which is System Restore. Now, System Restore is another safety net which people don't seem to use anymore. But if you like tweaking your system, then this is definitely a must-have. If you are going into the registry and making loads of registry edits, then I would suggest that you create a restore point. That way, you can roll back to that point of before time. So we can call this before tweaks and click Create. And you can call it before registry tweaks if you want to something like this and click create and it will create a restore point any changes you make after this fact will be obviously what you've done to the system and if it's broken your system you can then roll back to uh, before registry tweak and it will put it back to that time before you did all them tweaks it's that simple and people see, still don't seem to uh, actually take these safety measures when they're tampering with their registry. And they end up coming onto our Discord server asking how we can remove these policies and other things that they've done to their PC. Because they've probably been following some guy on YouTube and uh, they haven't made backup measures uh, to make sure that they've got a safety net there. If you look at the restore points here, you can see there's a bunch of them here which you can restore too. And there is our before registry tweak right there. And that's going to be about it for this video. Pretty simple, basic video. But I wanted to get this one out there just to show people how easy it is to restore your system without having to do a reinstall of Windows because you've made a mess of your registry. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on our Discord server. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.